How do you fix a PC that doesn't power on or boot? In this video, we are going to find out. My name is Matt, I'm a former rocket scientist, and my goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. In the It's Not Rocket Science series, we've been helping you solve PC problems with expert troubleshooting tips on how to keep your system running like a pro. It's Not Rocket Science, and as you will see throughout this series, it really is Lego. In this video, our focus will be on how to fix a PC that doesn't power on or boot. I'm sure that many of you experience the frustration that comes when you go to turn on your PC and it doesn't do anything. I recently experienced this exact problem, so I put together a guide to help you troubleshoot the issue so you can get back up and running as rapidly as possible. As mentioned earlier in the video, I promise to share with you a bonus troubleshooting guide on how to get your system working if it doesn't boot. It's super frustrating when you try to power on your system but nothing happens, or if it powers on but immediately shuts off. This actually happened to me while building the DDR4 test stand for this video. When I pushed the power button for the first time, the system powered on for about a second, the fan started spinning and then it shut down. I tried multiple times, but each time it would power off almost immediately. Thinking the worst, I placed a rush order for a replacement motherboard and CPU, but after thinking about it for a while, I realized that it was likely a short, since I had tested the PSU in a different system. After checking the standoffs and all cables, I was finally able to confirm that the source of my short was the power switch itself, called a Vandal switch. It turns out that the manual for Primo Chill's Praxis Wetbench has incorrect directions for wiring the Vandal switch, which in turn was causing a short. As soon as I wired it correctly, the system worked as expected. That's when I decided to develop this guide to help avoid the frustration that I experienced. I broke it down to the approximate time that the system powers on from zero seconds, less than one second, which was my example, up to about 10 seconds and for when it stays powered on for greater than 10 seconds. There's a brief description of the likely source of the issue for each time period with some additional tips below the table if none of these work. Hopefully this will help you get up and running faster and save you from having to dig through thousands of Reddit posts until you finally find an answer. I know this certainly would have helped me resolve my issue faster. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching this video in the It's Not Rocket Science How To series. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel further, please also consider joining our new membership program, which I'm super excited about. Bye for now.